Matthew 13, 3 through 8 says, Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his fields, some seeds fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they didn't have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil and produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as had been planted. You know, during our ministry years, Ann and I have lived in two rural communities, Middleton, Kentucky, and Zuni, Virginia. Now, I'm not a farmer, and I never will be. However, after spending some time in those communities, I learned a little bit about farming. You know, when a farmer would plant his crop, he would be generous with his seed, but he would only plant a seed in good soil. So when you drive by his fields, as the seed would sprout, you'd see patches where he didn't plant. Um, it could be a rocky patch, or have a sinkhole right there, or it could have a thicket that would choke out the tender plants, or even just be an area that was low-lying, that would collect water, that would drown the plants out. The farmer knew his fields, and he planted accordingly. That's what makes this parable of Jesus so intriguing to me. His farmer put down seed everywhere, even on the beaten down path into the field. No farmer would expect to get a yield from the roadway, a rock, some rocky ground, or, or from a briar patch. No farmer expects that. The point is that those who sow the gospel sow it everywhere. It's not up to us to determine the viability of the soil. Our job is not to decide whether a person is receptive or not. We are seed sowers. That's our job. Sow the seed. Leave the results to the Lord. Pray with me. Lord, today, help me, help us share the gospel. Keep us from being soil scientists that need to examine whether or not a person is receptive to the gospel. That's not our job. Our job is to sow the seed. So, help us do so freely, generously. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. See you again tomorrow.